All right, we got to include a little poetry in Ignite. If you don't have poetry, you're missing one, one of those elements of life, I think. And I love the art. Our next presenter is uh, known worldwide for his skills in golf, Mr. Greg Norman. And uh, he usually takes titles at the uh, Ryder Cup in Augusta. But tonight, this is actually a different Greg Norman. Uh, Greg has something going on in his life that's inconvenient, but along the road of discovery, he's learned a thing or two about the digital nervous system. Mr. Greg Norman. All right. You hear me? I'm clear? <laughs> that fixed it, yeah. Um, all right. So, yeah, just uh, I want to tell you a little bit about a big health problem that I have and some of what I'm doing about it. I'm using new digital tools and some of the changes in technology that are going on right now. Um, to start off with, I want to give a little disclaimer, which is that I'm, I am not a doctor. I'm not a medical, I'm not trained you know, medically. Uh, I'm a patient. Uh, as you can see, I've gone through lots of tests, still trying to understand what's going on with my body. Uh, like a lot of patients, I really have kind of a layman's understanding of my, of my conditions and medical issues. Um, but to give some background, if you're not familiar with the autonomic nervous system, this is the part of your nervous system that controls and regulates all the uh, automatic parts of your body that you don't think about, all the subconscious things like uh, your respiration and your heart rate and your digestion. And with people with my condition that I have, uh, dysautonomia basically means that autonomic nervous system doesn't work right. Something's disrupted it. Something's caused it to uh, not communicate properly with different parts of your body. And uh, as you can guess, that causes a lot of problems. Um, you know, there's like a handful of the things that it can cause, different symptoms and issues, uh, many of which I have, some of which I have right now. Um, and, uh, you know, this obviously causes a lot of issues. And um, one of the, uh, uh, for example, one, some weird things that it causes, for example, are, uh, I've been told, basically my fight or flight response is broken, it doesn't work right. So I tend to, I can faint when I stand up too quickly, uh, when I see blood. Uh, when I talk in front of large audiences. Um, but otherwise, you know, you wouldn't know that I have this typically, uh, unless I told you about it like I'm doing now. Um, people have this condition, a majority of them can fit in society, and that's kind of a problem because it is hard to fit in a society when people don't know that you have a big problem like this. So to kind of tell you a bit about what I'm trying to do, um, I'm trying to basically track my you know, heart rate, blood pressure, my sleep patterns. You know, I can show you my... my uh, heart right now, my heart rate, um, using digital tools and devices, uh, apps, sensors. Um, uh, uh, you can see there's basically tens of thousands of apps now to track all this stuff and track different health conditions and issues. They're called fitness apps, in-health apps, quantified self. Um, and there's a lot, of pro a lot of platforms trying to collect all this data together and bring it all into one place. Um, and one of the problems, though, is that uh, there's no real standards for all this stuff to work together. And what that means is that uh, for someone like me with a complex issue like mine, nothing's really addressing my need. Um, and things are changing even more rapidly because down the road and even emerging now are things, sensors like things embedded in your clothing, uh, patches you can wear all the time, uh, sensors embedded in pills that you might swallow. So what I'd really like to see, and I think where things are going, uh, what will help someone like me is what I see as a sort of digital nervous system. And that's all these things working together uh, to kind of collect all this information about your body. And that's really big for somebody like me since my own nervous system doesn't work right, apparently. Um, and what that means is once you have all this data and you have a sort of, uh, um, you're collecting all this information, just like the real nervous system, which, which works on reaction and you know, sensing information, making decisions, reacting on it, you can do that yourself through these feedback loops where you have to kind of mentally apply your um, an approach to, to treating your issues. So, um, uh, but to go a step further, you know, once we, all this stuff is digitized, you think about how the web works. You know, how you send, receive information from websites, from web servers. That's also a lot like the, the nervous system, um, you know, which distributes information throughout the body, collects and sends information um, automatically. And so I think a lot of this can be sort of automated in real time. And uh, theoretically, we could take our nervous system and just put it out on the web, you know. Um, so maybe you can actually have real time share your nervous system, uh, different aspects of your health with people real time on the web, make it available. And the cool thing is once that's done, once it's out kind of in the cloud, 
Um, you can then share it with, say, if you want to, friends and family. Here's what's going on with me. Uh, you can share with other patients. So you can say, you know, share your experiences, see how they relate to each other, uh, and share it with your doctor, you know, so they can collect information. Um, and once it's real time, if you're familiar with, for example, Google Glasses, their glasses project, where you can have glasses and you can see cool stuff all the time, you know, maybe you can feed into that. Maybe you can actually see around you, you know, what's going on with people if they want to share it with you. And what's cool about that is that invisible illness problem I talked about, that might be a big uh, leap forward in that, in understanding what's going on with the people around you. Um, and what the, what's cool about this is that um, just understanding our bodies, there's so much we can do, but just understanding our bodies uh, is a huge step forward. So this is me when uh, my daughter was born. And um, you know, just understanding my heart rate better, understanding my fainting issue better, I was able to go in the operating room and, uh, where there's lots of blood and not pass out. So I think I've, you know, that's just one step, but there's a lot more we can do just way beyond that uh, with things that are coming out. That's it. <laughs>